Mm -mm -mm. We're going to get into this whole situation with Neil and Crystal. But let's go back to Neil's history with women. Okay. I'm your girl Raven and this is Raven Spills the Tea. Let's go. That's right, let's dig into Neil's history, okay? The first little bit of TV we're going to get into is his former girlfriend. So while Neil and his new girlfriend, Crystal, are enjoying life as both newlyweds and new parents, the R&B singer's ex fiance is revealing a huge regret she had while being with the singer, and that's getting her tubes tied. You remember that? See, Neo has a history of doing some foul-ish. He has. And we're going to get all up into it. So in an interview with the New York Post, the Atlanta star of Atlanta Exes said she only underwent the operation because Neo said he would follow suit and get a, vas a vasectomy. Sterilization was something Neo and I discussed thoroughly in the months leading up to the baby's delivery. She said, explaining that with them already having a son and a daughter, their family felt complete. So Neo also agreed to undergo a vasectomy to show our mutual commitment to the relationship, she continued. Before the doctors finished up in the delivery room, I told them, I want to burn my tubes. Now, Molietta said the singer was there right by her side during the procedure, holding her hand. The doctor must have asked us eight times if this was what we wanted. And she said each time we both said yes. While she definitely kept up her part of the bargain, the 35 year old said she never asked Neo if he kept his. I was so busy caring for two young children. I just assumed Neo had followed through and had gotten that vasectomy that he said he would. I trusted him so so much that it never even crossed my mind that he wouldn't go through with it. And he wouldn't, that he would make sure he got it done. Now, fast forward a few years later, a bit in June 2013, two months prior to the couple's wedding, Neo ended his relationship with Monietta, leaving her hurt and distraught. So I, he did not marry Monetta, Mo, Monetta. He didn't marry her. He instead, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Did he get married to that woman? I think he did. I think he did. No, she, he didn't marry her. Money which way. Fast forward a bit to 2013, two months prior to the couple's wedding. Neo ended his uh, relationship with Monetta, leaving her hurt and distraught. Today, the singer is married and recently had a child with his new lady. <laughs> yeah. Moneta says, now, unlike her ex, she will not be able to have any more children. If I find another man to love, I may not be able to start a family with him. I'm too scared to go to a doctor to find out if there's anything they can do about it because I do want to get married someday. And if my future husband does not have kids, I will want to have his children. Now, speaking on Neo's new relationship and family, she said, it hurts to see them parade their love on social media. They recently married on February 20th and Crystal gave birth to their first son. She seems like a nice girl, but I would be worried if I were she. How does she know that he's not going to do the same to her, thing to her that he did to me. And I don't know about y'all. Okay. Let me see right here if I can pull that bad boy up. Because I do want to pull it up. I really do. 
I want to pull something up. I want to pull this up real quick because there is a saying out there that they have. Okay, there's a saying. You see that saying right here? A man who marries his mistress leaves a vacancy in that position. Oscar Wilde. How you get them is how you lose them. Okay? How you get them is how you lose them. Now, while Molietta was out there taking care of the kids and, um, you know, being a family and, you know, taking care of the family and home, and Nia was on the road, he was doing his thing. And welcome in Crystal. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that's the first little bit of news that we learned about Neo and how Neo got down. He convinced this woman to have her tubes burned. And he did not follow through and get that vasectomy. And went on, after talking to somebody while he was with Moyetta, Mo left her and married someone else. But wait a minute, Moyetta wasn't done yet. Moyetta, Mo, 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 Sean wasn't done. No. She um, is also revealing something about her relationship with the musician at that time that make that may make a few people uncomfortable. Oh, yes. Speaking with folks at Basha, remember that one? Don't be scared podcast. Oh, yeah. She revealed she and her superstar ex would occasionally engage in threesomes. Okay. Now, I don't know about you, but when a man is freaky, freaky and want to do threesomes and all kind of kinky, freaky things, he ain't going to stay with it. He, you know, most of the time, he ain't going to settle down with just one woman. Not for too long. It'll last a few years. But then that urge to get back to the wild ways, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to come back. Unless he is doing that wild stuff with the person he's with. So let's get into Okay, because we really want to dig into how Neo get down because this is not Mr. Innocent. The songs and the music that he be playing is not the person that he is in real life. You're in a relationship. You know your partner. I wasn't approved, she said. I went hard for my relationship to try to make it work. It's kind of, it kind of happened and that was, that's what it was. The reason I thought it was important to put it out there or put it in the book, just when my daughter gets old enough to read it, or my son, it's necessary in the book, because whatever you do, you ain't going to keep him. So this was a warning. Ooh, child, she did the, till you do right by me. Everything that you got with this man. It's gonna be tainted in the water. What you do, I don't care how light, how what you look like, how many wigs you put on your head, what you look you change up, how what you do with them, it ain't gonna work and it ain't gonna last. Lord Jesus, D, preach. Let me stop. <laughs> so yeah, I don't rejoice in nobody's, you know, downfall or nothing. So don't think I'm rejoicing in anybody's heartache or pain, cause Raven don't play that. Mm -mm. But I'm just saying, I'm just doing what Moyetta is probably doing. Okay. Because she said it, and I'm going to repeat that little part, because whatever you do, you ain't going to keep them. That was a warning. When asked why she agreed to the three sons, she said she was willing to do anything for her man. I love hard and went hard for my man, no question. And I feel like I did those things at the time because I felt it was necessary and I was in love. She had one rule regarding the th their threesomes, though. No seafood. I've never tasted seafood. Let's be clear, she said. And I have no desire to taste the seafood. So in other words, she didn't go down under. <laughs> the former Hollywood um, exes star also said she was positive their relationship would never dissolve. So another thing that Krista was feeling, too, like her relationship with Nia would last forever because she got the ring. She was the one who got the ring. She felt like this was going to be, she probably felt the same exact way that Neo's ex fiance felt that this was going to be it. This relationship is going to last forever. He's happy. You know, he's remarrying me, all of this stuff, and we're going to last forever. Probably felt the same exact way. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah. I knew it. If you would have told me that we weren't going to be together, I would have told you that you were a damn lie. I knew that he had my heart and I had his no matter what. That's not all she dished on. Also speaking on the concept of hall passes, she said while she gave the because of you singer Pat permission to cheat, as long as he used pr protection, she doesn't recommend women follow her suit. Don't do that. Don't. Absolutely not. Girl, run. Don't do it, she said. He was my best friend. It was straight up ride or die. I just saw my family breaking up. I don't know. I don't know what the world, I don't know what I was thinking. My parents have been together 44 years. So I was like, what do I need to do? What is it? I know this is your problem. So here, this is what you got to do. You know, what, what you got to go through. Okay. This is what you got to go thinking. He'll get over it, even though I'm dying inside. So she thought by letting him go out there and bang out randoms, you know, as long as he used protection and bring nothing home, that it would, he would stay with her. But he, it looked like he probably, you know, banged a certain one and hmm, they, they didn't um, um, fall apart. They stayed together. Mm -hmm. But it's very telling. I'm telling this, I want you, I want y'all to listen to this because there's some keynotes that I want y'all to hear about Neo that Crystal should have took warning to. These are all warnings, okay? These were all the red flags that she should have paid attention to before getting into this relationship with this man. This, All these interviews that Mo, Mongetta did were foreshadowing, and these were warnings that, okay, you think um, letting him allow him to do all this dirt that he want to do, you're going to get to keep him. You're not. How you got him is how you lose him. You wasn't going to keep this man. Number two, this man has a problem, okay? She says it right here. I know this is your problem. So here, this is what you got to go thinking. He'll get over it. But he didn't get over it. This man loves to bang out strange. He loves to have, you know, intimate relations with different women. He's a person that lacks variety. Would you call him an ex-addict? I wouldn't call him an ex-addict. I just He just happens to be one of those type of men that don't need to be in committed relationships or he needs to be in open, an uh, open relationship with the understanding that I'm going to go and deal with strange and I might end up you know, leaving you for this person or another person, okay? You just, just that's what he needs to do. Men, y'all need to just be honest and just tell the truth, okay? Just tell the truth. So this is basically what she was saying. And this is real. This is as real as it can get. Shout out to Mo Yetta for saying what Monetta for saying what she said. Okay, Monetta Sean, thank you for saying what she said because it's real. It's the truth. And she said, you doing all of these things, like doing the threesomes, doing all of this and giving them hall passes and stuff. Don't do that. Don't do what I did because it did not work in the end. But you think we done. Mm -mm. No, because here's some more of his dirt that we like kind of like, you know, I guess let it slide. OK, because this was just a year ago. OK, Neil's wife, Crystal Smith, says she found out about their divorce from the tabloids after he announced it on a podcast before telling her. So he has a, a habit of just thinking of self. He has a habit of only thinking about him, what he wants, when he wants it, when he needs it, and not thinking about the women in his lives. You are an undateable dude, Neo. This is real. Talk. He, there's some men out there. They look fine. They could put it down in bed, everything, but they're undateable. They're undateable as far as they cannot be in a committed relationship. Don't. It ain't going to last long. You might get a few years, but eventually he will break your heart. He will let you down. He will disappoint you. And during those years together, he might be banging somebody else or several of the people. So he's undateable. He's an undateable type. He needs to stay single where he can just mingle. Some people are like that. 
And there's women out there like that too. They, they don't want to date. But well, we're going to get into this, okay? So the 34-year-old, um, the 34-year-old says the singer, real name, uh, Schaefer, Schaefer um, Smith, who she married in 2016, didn't even tell her he was divorcing her. And she learned about it by reading celebrity news sites. This is what she, this is what's going down. Speaking on um, the Tamron Hall show, we weren't really talking at the time. I, I chose to leave the relation because of issues. And at the time I felt like it was to get back at me or to hurt me or whatever the case may be. He said that it wasn't so, I, it, he said that it wasn't so. I took his words for that. But it definitely didn't feel good. It was embarrassing to say the least. Neil, who was 41 years old, made a very public statement about the divorce in February, telling podcast Private Talks with Alex, Alexa, um, Texas. It's slowly but surely becoming public knowledge that myself and my wife have decided to go ahead and get divorced. There's nothing bad to say about her. She's a fantastic woman. She's the mother of my children. And she always going to be that. And I will always respect her. Now, I don't know about you, but if you respected her, right, wouldn't she be the first one you have this discussion that you want to divorce her? Or is it just me? <laughs> okay. But he said Crystal has demons, just like everybody else, including myself. Really? After his comments were picked up by news outlets and Crystal read the stories, she said she decided to seek help. She said, I chose to go to therapy and start working on my plan and working on my pain and my issues and everything I was dealing with internally. I feel like that was the right step for me to get past it. So whether we were going to be together or not, I had to heal for myself so I could get up and perform for my kids. The peers share two kids. Don't this sound similar? They share two kids. Him and his ex fiance share two kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Neo is also a dad to Mason and another child who he shares with his ex, Ms. Shaw. Shaw. Neo and Crystal later reconciled after he admitted he didn't want to get a divorce and they made amends. They quarantined together and announced their marriage was back on in June. He told host Tom Run, I was really, really broken up about it, but I felt like I couldn't show that to the world. My pride wouldn't allow me to show that to her initially, but I think she kind of knew where I was at. Mm -hmm. So I'm not about to waste what could potentially be maybe our last moments together, not together. I'm not doing it. I'm going where my home is. I'm going where my heart is. And that is it. So Neo went back to, well, yeah, um, well, he went back to Crystal. He didn't get a divorce from her. But I want to show you this because this was just recent now. Okay, this was just recent. Let me go to my Instagram because I want y'all to see this. Okay, how many months ago was this mess? Hmm. Because I want y'all to tell me how long ago was this? Because I feel like this wasn't that long ago. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to pull it up because I feel like this was just so recent. And then now it looks like all of that done fell apart to the wayside. I don't you know, realize how much you are on post until you are going through all of your posts. Ooh. That's when you realize, wow, you really posted a lot up here. Well, just recently, the two did like a little renewal of their um, wedding. I think they did a renewal of their wedding recently, right? 
and it was beautiful. Just recently, they did. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, when was this? 12 weeks ago. This was in May, y'all. Okay, let me just show you this because I want y'all to see this. Screen share. Okay. Okay. This was posted May. Okay, this is their wedding, May 4th, right? 12 weeks ago. Congratulations to Neil and his beautiful wife have tied the knot. Gorgeous wedding, right? This is him and his wife, Crystal. Look at them. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous wedding, right? Right, we got the kids right here. Everything. Right? Had a beautiful, beautiful wedding. Now, let's fast forward. Okay? Fast forward. To say I'm heartbroken and disgusted is an understatement. Neil's wife, Crystal Smith, accuses singer of affair of affairs with numerous women. Neil's wife, Crystal Smith, has said she is ready to walk away from her relationship with the star, citing eight years of lies and deception as the reason for the breakdown of their six year marriage. On Saturday night, Smith wrote an Instagram post alleging that her husband had been cheating on her. She claims that the that she discovered she was sharing her life and husband with numerous of women who sell their bodies to him unprotected, every last one of them. To say I'm heartbroken and disgusted is an understatement. To ask me to stay and accept it is absolutely insane. The mental, the mentality of a narcissist. I'm homegirl. You ain't peep all the clues that Manetta was dropping about the threesomes, about the fact that she was allowing that man to go out there and sleep around. Oh, you thought that that because you looked the way you looked and how you got them is how you were gonna be able to keep them. Right? That's what you assumed, right, Boo Boo? Stop assuming stuff, cause you know you, you know how they, they they say you know play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Well, Boo Boo, it looked like you won a stupid prize right here. Mhm. Mm I will no longer lie to the public or pretend that this is something that isn't happening. Okay? I will not. I'm not going to pretend that this is something it isn't. I choose me, I choose my happiness and health and my respect. Neo and Smith married in 2016 and they share three children now, okay? They got three children. I gained three beautiful children out of this, but nothing else but wasted years and heartache, Smith posted. Um, I ask that you all please stop sending me videos or information of him cheating because what he does is no longer my concern. I am not a victim. You right, you girl. You said the best thing out of all of this. You is not a victim because you was quite, quite aware because the past fiance who got done dirty by Neo put it all on front street so you could read it so you could be warned. And she made sure that she said that this was a warning. That if you think what you got was a prize, then you are fooling yourself, young lady. Crystal, you're fooling yourself. I'm choosing to stand tall with my head held high. There you go. Stand 10 toes in it. If someone can't love you the way you deserve, then it's up to you to love yourself. With no hate in my heart, I am wishing them nothing but the mother flipping best. Well, you do that, mama. Well, you do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to stop that and I'm going to show you the thing that she put up on her screen. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show the thing that she put up on her screen. So, I'm going to show you this right here. 
okay, I guess that didn't even work. All of that, um, putting on different wigs and, you know, trying to be different women, because mm -hmm. I heard them rumors, trying to be a different women, woman and all of this and all this, that and the other, I guess that didn't work. Mm -hmm. So Neo really fumbled you, huh? I see you not playing. You removed a lot of pictures. I want, I, I want to be sad, but my feelings are selfish compared to yours. I really want you to get healing for your heart and mind. Sure, you can bounce back, but the emotional mental journey is going to hit hard. You have a wonderful support system around you, I reckon. And just know we are here fighting with you. We are here to support you as well, fighting. Okay, and the saying is, if they will do it with you, they will do it to you. Mm -hmm. So let's get to the next little post right here. And let me make sure that you can see this, that he she put up here, okay? Eight years of lies and deception. Eight years of unknowingly sharing my life and my husband with numerous women who sell their bodies to him unprotected. Every last one of them to say I'm heartbroken and disgusted is an understatement. To ask me to stay and accept it is absolutely insane. So apparently he asked her to accept it and to stay with him. And look who's up in here, y'all. Will you see who's in here? Anybody peep it? Y'all people in here, right? Who's commenting? Princess Love. Princess Love is right now trying to fight for her freedom to get away from who? Ray J. So uh, this is kind of not like, I'm kind of surprised to see her comment up in here. Oh, yeah. Let me see something here. Princess Love waiting on you to choose to choose you too. Okay, so they they coming at Princess now. They said, what done in the dark is always going to come to the light. Now he'll understand why it's cheaper to keep her. Shame on you, Neo, for putting yourself and your wife in danger for nothing. Exactly. I'm 53 and I had to learn to fall in love with me first. F out of here. We as women put too much time and energy in these F boys that we thought were men. I choose me. I'm staying single forever. A B got to trust issues. A B got trust issues. I got them honestly. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that Neil liked the post for me. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh shoot! No, he didn't. Neil liked the post that she put up. That's why I was like, is this about him? But I'm guessing it is. And so everybody's calling him a narcissist. So look, they're hitting them. They're saying, Princess, hope you choose too. Because hmm. Ray J going to do him every time. And that is facts. Mm -hmm. So she put this up on her page, right? Uh, the message to him. And he said, with no hate in her heart, I wish him nothing but the best. But y'all... After reading all of them damn receipts and I don't, I'm, all these receipts, you tell me what y'all think, okay? Please comment the flip below because I want y'all to say what y'all really feel after reading and listening to, reading what she wrote and listening to all the receipts that I done dropped in here about Neo's treatment of his ex-girl and her warning to Crystal about his behaviors and how he acts. Now, I want y'all to comment below and let me know what y'all think. All right. All right, now. On that note, I'm out. Goodbye. Mm, mm, mm. Neo, Neo, Neo. Well, I'm sure she will bounce back and she will be fine. She'll be just fine. Crystal will bounce back. She will find somebody else. She'll be all right. She'll be just fine. She still look good. She still looks snatched. You know, uh, she's still, you know, able to jump back when she heal and everything. Jump back on the market. Look at Melody Holt. Okay, Melody. I see you, Melody. Mm-hmm. I see there's a certain caliber of women that are hanging around. Mm, 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 okay. All right. Oh, damn. Somebody said you looking like a man. They truly don't get no realer than the queen. Oh, geez. Oh, 
Mm, mm, mm. They be going in on her. And on that note, I am out. But she be fine. She be fine. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all.